up guys you know me it's SMG for live zero one it's coming with this video I'm just turning off my music so this is another like vlog thing going on so I've been watching a whole load of videos I've been watching a whole load of stuff recently and um, yep I am ready to start up this uh, thing on YouTube now uh, right now I'm actually finishing rendering out video it's fucking crazy hot in my room um, Finishing editing this video, I just uh, need to render it out. It's gonna take like 20 minutes or so. And as you guys know, I have the new internet and it's ultra fast. So you guys are seeing this video a bit late compared to when I'm showing you it because I have a whole load of videos to edit and then there's like a whole another vlog coming on. So I don't know if I'm gonna actually like uh, I don't know what the hell I'm saying, but I don't know if I'm actually going to like edit this one with that or have it in a different like um thing and i haven't even heard my my uh like videos yet with my computer running because my computer is pretty loud and if i can if i put you guys on my computer you'll like, feel the vibration it's crazy i know but um yeah, i've been watching a whole load of videos on youtube lately and um thinking about it is, is it a whole lot I'm trying to come up with new ideas to gain new viewers let's put it that way like I want to do these WWE like 12 videos for you guys uh, but also I want to do UFC 2010 videos but cuz UFC 2000 and, um, 2012 is coming out or UFC 3 as uh, you guys will say or we'll call it I can't be I can't like I won't be able to get as much views as with a game like that because right now I haven't got much money left and all I have is this hunk of junk right here next to me which is that thing right there uh, but WWE stuff TNA stuff I think I could like gain uh, interest with uh, all these fans out there because TNA was just in the UK and people might want to hear about what was going down so I watched TNA last night. I didn't watch the whole event, uh, but l last week Thursday they were down here, or in their case last week Monday they were here filming the show, and the taping was released on Thursday night. And um, I watched it. I saw the matches. It was awesome. I, I don't want to like in this video. I don't want to talk about it because I'm not going to talk about it anyway in any other video. But I just wanted to give like a little overview of TNA because TNA's a growing company it's not something that um, it was it was put together by a wrestler and his uncle or father so it's made founded by Jeff Jarrett and his uncle or dad I can't remember but uh, it's just a growing company and uh, what Hulk Hogan was saying I have to admit is freaking true about TNA I think TNA's like I think TNA could actually be better than WWE the storylines in in TNA are a bit more personal which is better. T TNA hasn't got like this restriction on what people could say in the ring, um, and WWE has restrictions on what people can say in the ring. Like John Cena never speaks his mind. I have to admit, I've seen John Cena for the past like I don't know how many years, like six, seven years, and I haven't seen him say anything. I've only actually I've only seen him once say something crazy about the WWE and that's he works his ass off and then he has to um, he's someone who's who gets he gets rewarded he's been the WWE champion more than 10 times uh, but the only, when they were trying to fire him he was telling them that he's worked day in day out for the company and they're firing him for just losing a belt and like what the hell is that all about and same in TNA we got the six storylines going on you got the storyline between um, James Storm and Robbie Roode, and uh, now you have James Storm, Robert Roode, Jeff Hardy, and Bully Ray, who is Bubba Ray, if you guys don't know. Yeah, Bubba Ray, yeah, Bubba Ray Dudley, that's it. Can't remember. Um, but that whole four is going to be a four way match uh, against All Odds. I have against All Odds on my computer, I can't wait to watch that. And it's going to be awesome. TNA's future, I can see it. Another like couple of months, another couple of years. 
they're going to be hitting the big times with like companies like WWE they're starting their own network they're still hitting the big times they are the top wrestling company or wrestling industry no, well wrestling company in on TV right now because you don't see fucking English wrestlers wrestling on TV I don't think so hell to the hell no you don't see that shit I've seen it once but that was from like 1970s and stuff like that so that is out of, that's out of business you know what I mean but when it comes down to it, TNA is rising, getting all these new stars. I also I'm also hearing that uh, the WWE is trying to get RVD from TNA. Or well, once RVD's contract's finished, RVD it's gonna be like a couple of months. Then RVD is gonna go to WWE. I don't think so. Fuck WWE for that. I think RVD's done. It's not that he's done a whole lot better in TNA. It's, he's a better character for TNA. Look at his entrance music. If he had entrance music like that in WWE, he wouldn't be allowed in WWE. The whole effing show, what the hell? He is the whole effing show. But because of this, because um, of WWE, loads of kids watch it and stuff like that. The kids are going to learn how to swear in the future anyway. Why not teach them now? What difference is that in the camera? As I'm saying, the kids, they're going to learn to swear in the future. I know a lot of kids that know swear words like that are younger than me that what, what the hell younger than me I'm 18 bro uh, but uh, like that really young and they know how to swear and stuff like that I've seen it on TV I've seen it everywhere so that's one thing if someone's saying effing it doesn't mean the whole word in uh, but it implies it but who cares it's, it's WWE they swear they say bitch and whore and stuff like that all over the place but uh, WWE is awesome. Um, I like how Triple H is taking over. Let's put it that way. Triple H is... I, 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 lo I like him as a WWE superstar. Check out here. I got a, a picture of him right there. Um, but yeah, Triple H is awesome. I think he should have a, uh, a match against The Undertaker. Like he came out saying he wasn't going to fight The Undertaker. But he, he is. Who's the Undertaker going to fight at WrestleMania? Nobody is available. Nobody good enough is available. Let's put it that way. The only person I can actually think of is, could be Chris Jericho. That could fight Undertaker at WrestleMania. CM Punk at WrestleMania. With uh, Chris Jericho. That's what they're saying. Uh, but yeah, that's what I think. A Sheamus world, world title. A Sheamus versus Daniel Bryan at WrestleMania. Sheamus will win. And uh, Daniel Bryan will be crying when he leaves the ring, but Daniel Bryan's awesome as well. So yeah, I'm just uh, like on Facebook. I'm about. I was about to play. Um, I was about to play a uh, MW3, but I was like, God, screw it, no point. Uh, so I have BT Broadband right now, which is Infinity, and uh, I have a uh, 40 up to 40 meg download and whatever upload, and I'm downloading right now. The whole friend series so I've I've got up to 0.5 percent and it says five days or six days now left um, so as I know they cap the internet the speed that it downloads at, uh, at certain times so at 4 p.m. it caps from until midnight so after midnight it'll go normal so I'll leave it on there but at that time I can still do everything I normally do I can upload as well and my internet speed will not drop so this is this is a good thing it's a good thing not a bad thing. I don't care if that I can't download. Because that direct downloading now is going to shit. Because of all the crappy websites coming up. Because all the good websites got fucked. And uh, the only good website left is file serve. And deposit files and that's about it. So, Hey what's up guys. You know me it's SMG for Live01. Just coming with this video. So um, as you guys probably know from my video that I put up recently. Um... I've been having a few problems with this new PC. You can see. Um, yeah, I've got I've got everything. I've got all the fans and everything. It looks cool. But the thing is, it keeps freezing when I have the RAM in uh, slots one and two, which is dual channel, which um, I should be in, because uh, that's in the motherboard manual. It says uh, to have to have the RAM in that those two slots for the best performance but um, I'm getting emails from the company I bought the motherboard and the RAM from and uh, and the CPU from and the first email I got back was 
to check if the mother the motherboard has any bent pins on this or in the CPU or whatever, like in the CPU slot. I ain't doing that because there's no point in me taking it out and then I can't put it back in because I don't have any heat thermal heat heat sink spreader or whatever it's called. They're telling me to take off the heat sink and uh, to take out the CPU, which I do not want to do whatsoever, and to uh, to check if there's any bent pins. Uh, it's highly unlikely that happens because I'm using LGA sockets, so the middle bit of the actual uh, motherboard, there isn't any pins in the middle, and the, the pins are just spread out around. I think computers if they're able to do this like little chip thing they should be able to make where the actual CPU goes in they should actually be able to make it so there's no pins or anything like that because uh, the only people that are using pins right now are um, AMD and I think AMD pieces are, are off the chain most of the people that use AMD PCs are mainly gamers anyway so I could I should have ended up buying a AMD uh, CPU and stuff like that I think it would have been a lot more easier because that was actually my plan for the first thing but then my friend's like oh you should go for Intel and all this stuff and now this shit is happening and uh, they're telling me that uh, the RAM might be the problem which I was already thinking but then I, after that I'm thinking that the motherboard there's something wrong with the motherboard uh, which I really would hate if there was because I have to take out everything all the cables, all the wiring, and then all the like my graphics card. I've take out all the RAM. I've take out the CPU. CPU. If I take it out, what am I gonna do with it? Like I don't know where to put it. I have no like I haven't got much a place to put it in my room because it says keep it out of the sunlight. Uh, put it in a container, and uh, I'm like, what the hell? And and people have like little cases for it, like this big, and you, your CPU just drops in. And I think I threw away the. Uh, CPU packing that it comes in so because I was thinking of just putting it back in there, but I don't have it so um, Right now. I'm actually just waiting for emails for from the company and the company that I bought it from was scan and if they're um, like uh, oh, The first email that I got was it says uh, please note the memory controller is not on the motherboard. It's on the CPU Please confirm you have first populated both white slots and then have another two sticks then populate the two blue slots right now I have right now I do have um, two in the blue slots which is three and four slots the, f the slot is number three and number four and then um, there's uh, it says also check the CPU socket on the motherboard for any bent pins please reply directly to this email blah 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 so that was the first email I got. Okay, and let me just go to the next one. Uh, here. And then here is the next one. It says, have you tested the memory in slots 1 and 3? Done that. I actually haven't done that. Or 2 and 4. It says, as the memory you purchase is dual channel memory and therefore needs to be run in dual channel mode. Also, Intel recommend you recommend the memory is rec also Intel recommend you run the memory in in slots two and four for best performance. If you if you run the memory in dual channel mode and it's still not stable, I can only suggest the memory is faulty. So if it's a memory, I'm fine with that. If it's a motherboard, I'm I'm, I'm screwed. Because uh, I don't want to take it apart and stuff like that. And then the next one I got was to confirm you are running. To confirm, are you running the memory in the two white slots? Which I am not. I'm running it in the two blue slots. Because whenever I run it in the two white slots, a day after or something would it would freeze. And uh, what I was, how I tested this out was yesterday. Um, I left it on the day before that it was on in the same one and two slots uh, the two white slots should I say and uh, it didn't freeze it actually lasted almost two days but then I think during the night because I left it on because I was downloading friends 
uh, the, the whole series because of my wicked internet it works in the night so that's all right but um it probably froze during the night after watching like I was watching WWE and uh, I was trying to watch uh, Moneyball and I fell asleep so by trying to watch all that stuff um, after just when I woke up this morning because I use uh, uh, this app on my phone I can tell if my computer's on or not uh, it's called Unified Remote it's uh, one of the apps that I use uh, to control my computer from my phone and uh, uh, when I logged on to that um, it said uh, no connection like found sort of thing for this computer so I was like oh, it must have froze again so I came uh, it was like seven o'clock in the morning so I came up I looked and then I was like I, I checked and then it was off everything was like like it was just frozen but it was still running everything was running and um, then I just switched it off took the RAM out swapped it around and now I'm doing the same thing but in the uh, 3 and 4 slot uh, with the RAM and I know it's going to work for how, however long. If it crashes then I'll just, uh, uh, which is highly unlikely it's going to crash because um, I've tr tested it for 3 days and it was running perfectly. Like This is just making me waste a whole load of electricity just testing this computer because I'm using a 650 watt power supply it's using 650 watt just blowing out or to all the components and all that stuff so if you guys have any, have any ideas if you've had problems like this uh, with your computer let me know my motherboard is a gigabyte GAPH 67DS3 V3 motherboard I'm running a GTX I mean not a GTX AMD a Sapphire Radeon 6870 um, I got a uh, Core i5 2400 CPU. I got 8 gigs of XMS3 Corsair RAM. And uh, yeah, if you guys, and my power supply is XFX 650 watt Pro or Core Edition or whatever you guys like to call it. Um, yeah, so if you guys know anything about that, uh, oh yeah, also my hard drive is a Seagate Barracuda, I don't know the whole name, and I got LG DVD rewriter. That's, that's the only things you guys need to know really but uh, if you guys know please let me know in the comments below of what could be causing this because I have no idea what could be causing this um, I think it's the motherboard like, that's my strong feeling is the motherboard but I want it to be the RAM because I don't want to be able to I don't want to have to take out everything just to just to screw around with all the parts and stuff so um, yeah I'll see you guys in the next video uh, I hope you guys enjoyed it, uh, even though I'm pissed off because I need to find out what's wrong with my computer. Um, even though if, if anything happens and I have to send stuff back, i got this other computer next to me over here that I can use for editing and plus uploading uh, wirelessly. So, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Um, see you guys. Hey, what's up guys? You know me, it's SMG for Live01. Just coming in with this quick little video. So as you know, my computer has been messing with me for the past, like, since I made it. Um, so there is my computer, and I'm just shutting down Windows because I'm about to do something with the computer. So I'm going to open it up for you guys and show you the interior of my PC. You've seen the exterior, you've seen the interior from the the side panel. But uh, I'm, I'm changing the RAM right now on it. So um, I'm going to change the RAM, and I'll come back to you guys, and I'll show you the inside of my computer. And all the cabling and stuff like that even though um, there is a whole load of bunch of cables just like wedged in there uh, today I also uh, I don't pay for some of the stuff that I get but um, I got um, 320 gig uh, 2.5 inch hard drive and if you guys don't know uh, hard drives are dropping down in price but um, at a point they are going to drop and go back to the prices that they were so I got a 320 gig hard drive for about 44 pounds which was a 2.5 inch hard drive which is going to be in a laptop that I have um, I'm not going to use this laptop uh, my dad will use it but I'm gonna put Windows 7 on it and uh, yeah it should be good so I'm gonna get back to you my computer is off uh, as you guys can see and uh, I'm going to uh, open it up and then uh, 
uh, swapped the RAM about and um, because um, the company that I bought the RAM from said that it's best you, Intel says to um, put the RAM into slots 2 and 4 to gain the best performance so that's what I'm going to do and I'm going to see what happens see if there's any difference to it uh, and yeah I'll see you guys in a second back with me um, yep so um, my computer I just I just swapped around the RAM uh, so hopefully it works and without freezing or anything uh, because right where I had it before it was fine dual channel mode as well so check it out here is my system so that is my uh, Radeon 6870 as you can see this blue cables my uh, SATA's um, hard drive and that uh, like the cables what I basically did was like push them to the side here if you can see I pushed them down and then routed like the motherboard cable up but then brought every other cable around it like that's the only cable that's going across the motherboard and that's the uh, e uh, not EPS the um, uh, CPU power cable and uh, like I have a fan here which the cable is just uh, running around and across the back of the RAM and everything uh, these two cables I was uh, going to end up just just putting it like that and just have it hanging sort of thing but just that uh, it's all like all just put put uh, together and stuff like that <laughs> so I wasn't really bothered uh, here's my 650 watt power supply here's the bundle of cables that I, I tried to hide but like to hide them there's not much of a point because we have this fan here blowing it onto the hard drive obviously the hard drive doesn't get hot really uh, but um, my graphics card doesn't get hot either I haven't felt it get hot anyway uh, but I was thinking of getting um, a new like um, some more kind of fans for it but there's no point with these two fans at the top because it's just blowing a load of air out of the case and uh, yeah what I'm running down here is a Core i5 2400 you guys all know that because I've talked about it in another video um, there is a my gigabyte board I don't want to like dribble onto my computer because I dribble quite a lot and that's why I'm not leaning over as I would if I was showing you it. It's a GDA PH67 uh, DS3B3 motherboard. It's Rev 1.0. Like now, um, and uh, oh yeah, obviously the DVD drive LG, uh, my favorite kind. Uh, all these fans I have in there, I'm going to be doing, I, I've done a video and that should be up as soon as possible. But they were black fans, and there is the side panel with the fan there. Um, and we have the single uh, clear fan there. They're all Cooler Master fans. And uh, here you have the screw thingies. Uh, I can't remember what they're called. They're the drive bay connectors. They can, like, um, you just slide in a hard drive and then screw it in. And you have the uh, locks for the. Uh, DVD drives and optical drives so now what I'm gonna do is put it back uh, this actually looks very nice together like that it's just hard to get it out you can see down here uh, if I move that if you can see uh, the pins are hard to get I keep scraping my hand and uh, I think I pulled a bit of my nail off trying to uh, get that um, my this finger was hurting a lot my index finger so I'm just going to test out my PC now because I feel that this slot, there's something wrong with it, the one, the number, number two slot, um, I feel that there might be something wrong with it, I don't know. But if there is, then I'm screwed because I have to send back the motherboard and I don't want to do that. But, um, yep, I'm going to uh, turn the computer back on and I'm going to go on CPU-Z and check out everything. I'll obviously put that on um, with camera. <laughs> So I'll see you guys in a second again. So my face is a bit blue. Oh, so my PC's on. I'm just gonna check the PC's health. So uh, 
it doesn't say anything bad about it. It's got um, it's a system fan too. I'm not running no fans on this via motherboard. Uh, you got all these uh, the CPU fan control manual silent. Uh, really on normal. I can't really hear it anyway. So it's just the PC health, and then I'm gonna just go to the uh, where is it? Advanced BIOS? No. Like really half of this stuff I don't know what the hell it is. Uh, there's advanced memory settings and that's where I will be. And I'm just going to change that to turbo. Uh, channel A and B timings and stuff like that. I ain't messing with that stuff. Like I have no idea. So I'm just going to save it and boot my computer. So let that boot. It should be on soon. I'll go on CPU Z see what happens hopefully it can last me a day let's put it that way posting right now loading the OS the OS um, really I really don't want to send anything back I, f I feel that I'm running I'm running something in two slots and it's it's working perfectly the only reason why I was thinking oh I should send it back was because oh if I get another eight gigs of RAM that's like two four gigs if I put them in would they work or would they not work like so it, uh, that's what I'm gonna have to test out I'm gonna have to get another two four gigs of RAM place them in the slots you have all four slots uh, taken up and uh, I'll try it out and see what happens but um, right now no monies so spent all the money on this thing uh, buying fans and crap for this uh, buying the DVD drive and fans uh, so really, uh, what it is is this computer is just going to be a beast once it's like, if this works with it, then it's just like, I'm not sending anything back, I have to do my work on it. This is my computer for like college and stuff like that, so, and hopefully I'll be making another computer, as you guys will know from my other video, I've said it as well, that I was thinking of doing something like building an AMD PC. But one of my other friends who was in my vlog video, he wants to build a computer since playing Battlefield in here. After that, he was like, oh, I want to build a computer, man. And uh, he was um, really impressed by what a PC could actually do. Like, with a Mac, you could do everything that a PC can. He has a special OS and all that stuff. All that good stuff, should I say. And um, a Mac, I, could, I would get, but I wouldn't buy an, a very expensive one. I'd buy a MacBook Pro or something like that if I had the money which I don't that's that's what I would get because personally um, it's something I could use as for like editing and stuff even though I don't use it to edit so I'm um, right now I'm actually on CPU Z and I'm just checking out the main board it has all that junk on it okay so it's saying DDR3 but then it says the channels single a retard guy on scan he was like oh use this too it'll be dual so single if it works fine then I'm cool with that so we've got the four gigs got the four gigs uh, if it's working the same uh, if, it, if, well, if I notice it's working the same as the other thing I'm not gonna do anything really uh, so it says I have eight gigs of RAM um, yeah I'm just I, I'm just really annoyed because like Imagine it just fucks up as soon as I put new RAM in. That's what I'm. That's what I'm worried about. So that's what I'm thinking of doing anyway to get 18 gigs of DDR3, 1333 megahertz of RAM. Then uh, yeah, I'll try it out and do whatever I can. Right now it's running single, uh, but um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this little thing you got to see inside my computer and stuff. And I uh, hope you guys enjoy my other videos to come. So I'll see you guys later. Peace. Hey, what's up guys, I'm back. Um, I did end the video before, but now I just want to add this little addition to it. I was, I have this, as I said before, I have the 200, 350, uh, 320 gig hard drive, which is a 2.5 inch. And what I figured to do with it is shove it into this thing right here. So what I actually did was, I don't know if this is any good or not. I don't know if it's a good method or anything. I have some double-sided tape here. Uh, with me uh, and I just stuck it on one side of the hard drive and then stuck it on like the 
DVD drive cage, and then I just put the uh, put uh, the uh, tape on the side and put it on the bottom of the hard drive, which I will also peel off when I'm going to use this hard drive. Uh, but um, yeah, put it down. If it's a good method, please let me know. I don't know if it's good, but I've seen it on YouTube. I've seen some guy do it, even with this case. He just shoved it on top of. I don't. I don't use the DVD drive much. Like I don't watch DVDs on my computer. It's just there in case I need to install something or I have a product that needs a driver or something like that. So that's all the DVD drives for. Uh, really and truly, um, it's a 320 gig hard drive. I'll show you the uh, thing. Yeah, I just I just named it some like stupid name. I call it uh, Spinner. Don't know why I'm like just couldn't come up with a name. Like, that one's a local disc. That one's external. I won't put five terabyte and uh, that one is spin off <laughs> so um, yep so I got it going uh, that I'm gonna take out in a couple of days I ordered a caddy for the uh, that uh, IBM computer that I'm fixing and um, what I have to do is boot windows and stuff like that on it which is takes a bit of time but um, home basic is the easiest one to install so that's why I'm mainly installing to it and then just uh, setting up everything because I'm not using that computer uh, but the other one that I have that's got a 250 gig hard drive in it and uh, pretty works fine it can last me about a day not even a day like half a day maybe uh, like if I'm you know, constant use depending on what you're doing that's what a laptop need, really needs like you need to know what you're going to be doing with it so um, yeah hopefully you enjoyed this little video out. I can actually try and show you. If you see this black wire in my PC, uh, if you can follow this one, it's up here. So if you guys can see that, yeah, so that's it. And it, the, on the end bit here, uh, there's a little uh, piece of duct tape. I mean, not duct tape, that tape that I was talking about. That I was talking about. Our cables are bundled up like crazy. DVD drive work, so that's cool. Uh, yeah, so I just want to come say peace out to you, all you peeps out there and happy Valentine's Day to all you ladies and guys if you don't have a Valentine's, I don't have a Valentine's this year uh, maybe not even next year but what do you think uh, but yeah, I'll see you guys later, peace out